catch him. So he was born last week. It's a little goat. It's a, he's a half Nigerian dwarf, so he's tiny. He was also premature, and the other one, the, there were twins. One unfortunately died. Um, he's doing really, really well. He's bouncing around like goat yoga. I have not named him. Anybody want to come up with an idea? A winner gets a free reading. How's that one? Okay, so just give me um, your ideas. It's a male. Uh, we usually name them Disney characters. So I don't know why we, one's Bella and <laughs> one's Nemo. And Okay, so blessings to all you guys. Please hit like and subscribe and keep watching me. I'm growing really, really fast and I got to have help. So that's why I went to another company that's supposed to be helping me. So blessings to all of you guys and uh, keep watching me. Hey there, Cancer. This is your finance and career reading for August 2021. Let's see what we get. Um, noticing some people aren't watching my, my intros. Um, I have a baby goat that was born, just born. So it's a male. And I'm having a contest. Whoever wants to name it and they win, they get a free reading. I've already got one name I like really well so far. So see what you guys come up with. Some of the names are just really cute. So... Uh, well, it's one of those little miniature bouncy type, you know, watch the video and back up and watch. Okay. So, so cancer, what's going on with you financially? Something's got, something's up in 30 days. Eh, victory. You're unhappy and you know, you need to change. You know you need this, and it's coming. Now, somebody's coming, somebody or something. Ooh, look at that. Yep, there's a job coming. There's an opportunity coming. Something's coming up from your past. Now, this card represents somebody or something. This could be a person offering you something from your past, or it could be a past skill or a past job, or it's something from your past. And things, you know where you're at now, is not working. And you want to be in a different place within 30 days. This 30 day card, you want to know if you're going to have a victory in 30 days. That's what that, that's why it's laid the way it is. Now, things aren't working out. It's darkest before the dawn. It's going to get better. Can't get much worse. That's kind of way it's feeling. And with that combined, you have a sense of um, unhappiness, sense of discontent boredom or unhappiness or just things aren't just working the way you want it to work. You're holding tight your money too. You're being very careful with your investments, with your money. Anything that's coming towards you, you're being careful with because you know it's coming. So, and if, if you don't know it's coming, they're telling you to be careful because if you change jobs, you know what I mean? The next paycheck won't be coming for three weeks. So something's up and it's telling you to be a little careful with your money, okay? Now, this is, this is an interesting, these two lay like this. This is a major love coming in or a relationship coming in. Now, it doesn't have to necessarily be love, but it's somebody that you care deeply about. And it could be a business partner. It could be love. Okay? It, because love brings stability, which brings finances, which, see. Now, if I were seeing this as a love reading, you have a significant person coming in. Now, this can represent where it's a possibility of marriage. Okay, I want you to be to realize that this person is caring deeply about you, and as much as you care about them, they care about you. All right, they're coming in, they're coming into this in the near future, which is in the month of August. Okay, they're coming, and like I said, they may be coming back, returning into your life now. There's money involved with all this. Now, this is your surroundings, and the, you're the king of pentacles. So there's money coming, and a lot of money coming, because this represents your um, inheritances, um, money that you would be giving to your children when you die. So there's a lot of money involved. Something's happening very quickly, and it's going to be fair and honest in your favor. So something's going forward here where there's an opportunity. You know, you're looking for help or someone else is looking for help from you. But I got a feeling that you're looking for a little help from somebody and you're going to get it. Okay. Now, your hopes, your fears, your dreams, as you finally get somebody to say, hey, you're good at this. Or 
you're getting that promotion or you're just getting the accolades that you really deserve. Okay. Now, like I said, there is a King of Cups. You are the King of Cups because that is your card. But it also could be another, it could be another water sign. So a Pisces there, uh, Scorpio or Cancer. But this can also represent you in a time of healing as you figure out what you're going to do because there is an opportunity coming. That is a job, a promotion, a business, an opportunity of some type. So something is coming for you. Okay. Now, I'm going to pull my other deck. And a lot of times they're the same. Okay. Shuffling right now. I get criticized because I shuffle backwards, but it doesn't freaking matter. Jeez Louise. And please be watching some of my other videos, please. Um, I'm st I clear out houses and I'm starting to post. I do a lot and I just haven't been posting them. Well, I got a real situation. So check that video out. Not quite sure what to do with it yet. So bring love into the situation. Love. That's a love card. It's mutuality of love. Somebody you love that loves you is just as much back. Emotions are running high. You're real emotional about all this because you want the you want that breakthrough opportunity that you know you want to. It, it, there's a speeding up too because see, look at I have a card of speeding up. This represents speed and haste. It also represents things are speeding up and going much quicker than they did in the past. Expect powerful change. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Luck's on your side. So this is almost like heaven sent. You know, and things pure lucky. Because I know Sagittarius is pure lucky. It's no, it's not luck. It's coming from the other side. It was predestined um, or it was destiny type of issue. Just remember that. Cause, and it's true. I don't care what anybody says about that. Step out of your comfort zone. You know, maybe you're you're feeling stuck because you need to go forward and you haven't been doing it. And you're, oh, I can't do it because of this. And, oh, I can't do it because of that. I want you to really sit back or step back, do a little meditation, and find out why you're so discontent. Because this is a discontention. This is discontent. Bored, discontent, unhappy daydreaming about what could be all right just remember that all right and the last card is a win-win is in the forecast hold ya you're going to win this whole thing because this is your way on your way to victory and it's within this month because uh, like i said it's, this is represents 30 days so it's in august and that is the victory card, and it's crossing you for good or for bad and for good in this one. Now, just remember, if everything's going the way you had planned or you, you know, you're, and you're doing what you're supposed to do, there is the Knight of Pentacles, a, a, a growth of income. Um, fair and honest uh, comes your way. It's money-based. So there's in the long run, there's going to be more money coming. Um, it's, and it's a positive message. So I want you to be thinking about this. Okay, what changes do you need to make? Because you're making them. And it has to do with your past, okay? Blessings to everybody. I will be coming back with your relationship reading really, really soon. Blessings.